Hey guys, Miss Osuna here. Let's do some high heel shoes. So I have one already sketched out for you. Let's go on ahead and draw it together. So we have a V shape with just a little curve at the center front. And we're being sure to make the left side shorter for the curve. The right side is longer because the big toe is on the left. All right, so now just extend those lines down and do another smile shape. And that smile shape is going to be the cleavage where your toe would go in. And then do a smile underneath for the actual heel, like the sole of the shoe. And then we can just tighten this up. You can make this V shape at the top where you enter your foot as uh, close to the tip of the shoe as you want. That would just show more toe cleavage or as far away as you want. That's just your design preference. Also, just an FYI, if you wanted to make this a platform, make your heel, the smile that's on the very, very bottom, just further away, and that'll give you a platform look. All right, so now I am using my design marker. This happens to be a Copic marker, and it is called Neutral Gray 7. But of course, you can blend any combination of markers together. Now the key here is to notice that we are doing smile shapes and on the left side, there are more smile shapes. That's our shadow side. The right side, there's less. Next, we are going to grab our tin. So what I'm going to do is spread some marker on my little tin container and this is black because I'm doing a darker color a dark gray now I'm gonna go back to my gray that I was originally using and dip it into the black and now I have a gradient it's gray with a little black all right starting on that shadow side again I am making the same smile slash parentheses shapes and as I pull these colors over Further and further, it helps me to get a nice transition from my grays and on the very outer edges, black. Notice I'm leaving tiny bits of white. You always want to do that because you want to make sure that your sketch can breathe. So now that I've done that, I'm going to pick up a little bit more marker and repeat. Once again, making sure that on the outer edges is where I start because I want it to be darker on the far left and far right. I'm using the brush tip and I'm being very careful to use just a little bit at a time and very light pressure. Now it's time for fine liner. I'm using a 0.1 and I'm just going to outline what I have just done and also the very, very bottom, like the sole of the shoe. Now remember this design does have the sole that you can see, it's thicker, but not all footwear, of course, has the sole that you can see. So you can skip that part if you do not want to see the very, very bottom of the shoe. All right, I'm just gonna go on an outline. Next, I'm just going to blend with a little white colored pencil. This is a Prisma color, and I'm just going to give a very soft haze. So tiny pressure, very, very light and subtle toward the center, just to give more of a reflection in the middle. And then I'm going to move on ahead and paint in, or color in, excuse me, the leg. 
So I am using a very, very light, you can barely see it, it's called Cool Gray and it's a 20% and it's by Blick Studio to wet the paper because this is gonna be ivory skin color. Once the paper is wet, then I can move in with my next color which will be Beach. And that one is also by Blick Studio. And so here I am now moving in with that beach color just on the far left side and the far right side and you can barely see this is how you would get an ivory skin tone here for the leg. You can barely see it but it absolutely is there. I'm just leaving some white space in the center. Next, I'm simply going to go back to that fine liner. Once again, I'm using a 0 0.1 and I'm going to outline the edges of our leg. All right, so now I'm just adding a little black colored pencil. This is Prismacolor, and it's on the outer edges just to define and have even deeper shadows on the far left and far right. Those tiny, subtle details help to make the difference. And let's color in the sole. So you can make the very, very bottom of your shoe Whatever color works for you, I'm just going to choose to do it in a walnut so that everything stays fairly neutral. I'm using the brush tip point and I'm being very careful not to push too hard and as always leaving bits of white. That just helps to let the sketch breathe a little bit and it just gives the feeling of some light reflected. Our light source side, remember, is on the far right side so there's a little bit more light towards the right and our shadow side is on the left that'll do it for this tutorial i'm fashion designer and educator corey osuna thanks so much and i'll see you next time happy sketching